All right, so today's kiddo board and buster. We've got uh, worm castings that we sell, but you can make these at home. And you can see basically worms break down organic matter, in particular food waste. So we put them in a bag when they're all finished, but you can make these at home too. So you can send the kids around and find some worms. And everybody's got some kind of plastic tote kicking around the house that is broken or missing the lid or whatever. Um, so I've got a, a bed here that didn't get cleaned out last season. Bunch of uh, onions that rotted in the field. So it's um, essentially organic matter that they're gonna chew up. And I'm going to put some soil in here, too. Just out of the garden. Just so there's stuff in here to hold moisture for the worms, because they like it really wet. Not sopping wet, like dripping wet, but they do need a lot of moisture. And then I've got uh, some food waste and some other stuff left over from the kitchen. So I'm going to chunk that up, dump that in here. And then I did my worm hunting. I think they're trying to get away here. I'm gonna pick up my worms. I don't know if you can see them. Um, I've got some baby worms, maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 worms. And I'm gonna throw those right in. And that's it. All you need to do is cover it. And then you can have worms. You can put that in, I'm gonna put mine in my pantry. I had one there years ago, but as you can hear my rooster, um, I have chickens, so I usually feed all my kitchen scraps to all the birds. <laughs> They're quite upset that I'm here and not feeding them. Um, but anyway, you can keep this bin in like near your pantry or wherever your garbage is and then put all your food waste because a lot of people are cooking at home that ha didn't do so much cooking at home before. So lots of kitchen scraps find some worms, throw them in a bin, and make yourself some worm castings. <laughs> <laughs>